In this posting, I will show how to install GSH and all my GSH on Windows PC. This will be helpful if you want to set up a Linux development environment on Windows PC. I have already installed Ubuntu on Windows subsystem for Linux. Bash is the default shell program. With using a different shell program like a GSH, we can access many features that Bash does not provide. It offers aesthetically pleasant themes and powerful plugins that can boost your productivity. All my GSH make it easier for us to handle GSH configurations. Let's start install GSH. I will run sudo apt-get install GSH. Complete it and then I will find where GSH installed. Let's install user folders bin GSH. I install uh, all my GSH paste and copy and it asks do you want to change your default shell to GSH say yes so now we complete the uh, configuration of your default shell so now you finish your uh, installation of GSH and all my GSH Okay, now uh, let's install Power Level 10K theme. First, go this side and then scroll down. You will see recommended font site. You can go there and then download Maslow uh, Nerf font and then install it with double clicking. After installation of a font, come back to uh, this side again and then let's copy installation link of power level 10k and then we'll uh, copy and paste this uh, link to install. First, uh, you have to restart your terminal after installation GSH and oh my GSH and then open new terminal and then paste this link after installation of power level 10k open gshrc file from your home folder and then find gsdim variable and replace uh, the theme name with the power level 10k and then save the change and restart terminal one more time and then you will see interactive windows that lead you through many options first a few questions it asks uh, about fonts so most questions you can say yes from the style number three rainbow I choose Character set, number one Unicode. Show current time, no. Prompt separator, number one. I choose most case number one. So you can come back later, uh, you can reconfigure it. So don't worry about too much here. Uh, icons, I choose number two. Prompt to flow, concise number one, transient prompt, I choose no, instant prompt mode number one, I choose config file already just because this I, I already configured before, so I just say yes. So, congratulations, you are all done. There's a one more thing to do uh, whenever you open terminal you will see Linux open from your window directory not uh, 
Linux home folders. We want to change that. Now you open .dshrc file and then at the end of file you can add a cd tilde so that g shell open uh, from your home folder. Next I suggest you install two useful plugins highlighting plugin and auto suggestion plugin. You can uh, paste and copy this in terminal and then after installation open file .gshrc and find the line plugins and then update it with the plugins with your uh, installed plugins gsh auto suggestions gsh syntax highlighting now finally uh, you want to use terminal in Visual Studio code so you have to set up uh, in Visual Studio uh, phone setup so open settings and search terminal.integrated.fontfamily and add the font name Meslo LGSNF this will make you use power level 10k theme inside Visual Studio code terminal Okay, that's it. So you're all done. So enjoy your uh, beautiful console. Happy coding.